Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have been requesting how I get my, you know, drum sound and that big fat worship drum sound and I finally uh, needed to do it and show you guys what I'm using and how I'm doing it. It took a lot of practice, it took a lot of years of just tri trial and error, asking questions, looking around in the internet, and I finally found a product that works with your software that you use for recording your drums. I'm using right now Logic Pro X. I'm using an interface, eight channel interface. I'm using the Scarlett 18i20 by Focusrite. It has eight channels. It's done really good for me. I've had it for uh, four years now. It's great. Before we get into it, I wanna show you a quick video of me playing before and after of the raw version of what it sounds just not doing anything and then with all the plugins that I'm using EQs and yeah so here it is All right, so now that you guys heard it, uh, you see the difference. I mean, it's just like. Yeah! So let me show you what I'm doing here to get that sound. So here we are. This is the program, Logic Pro X. And I have here my seven channels. I, I know I said I use an eight channel software. I'm sorry, eight channel interface, but I am using seven right now. I have that extra one for maybe a room mic in the future or maybe another floor tom. But for now, I have two floor toms. And yep. So I have the kick, the snare, snare bottom, tom one, tom two, overhead left, overhead right. And that's good for now uh, until I get a new drum set in the future. <laughs> so anyways, uh, before you record you have to tune your drums. I know I'm not gonna explain that here in this video. Maybe in the, in the next video, I'll, I'll show you guys how to tune drums. But I do recommend before you record anything to make sure the drums sound good, you know. <laughs> I know that's hard, but just try to, you know, get that good sound before you record. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you here what it sounds like raw. This is what it sounds like. sounds raw yeah and uh, as you guys know it sounds like this with the program that I'm using it's called trigger 2 So you see the big difference and yeah, that's what I'm using. Um, I'm recording normal, you know, with, with my normal raw mics and then I'm using this program here. Let me start with, with kick here. I'm using trigger two by Steven Slate is a program that you download and it syncs with your uh, recording program. In this case is Logic Pro X. And uh, yeah, here you have, you know, the trigger and you can, you can put any uh, kick you want here. And right now I have these three muted because I'm not using them right now. I'm not using that sound. I'm using right now the Dallas 24 kick by uh, the company perks.live, which is the company by Ish Melton, the drummer for Christine DeClario and Sebastian Suarez from Upper Room. They both made a company called Perks.Live, so I wanted their per particular sound for worship. You can click here to get like a little preview of, of what it sounds like. This is the room mic, the kick room. Yeah, and you can mess with the tuning too. Like, like I can mute here. Let me mute this S just to hear the kick, right? Single it out, and then I just press spacebar here. And uh, I'm hearing it. So, yeah. 
I can mess with the tuning, see? That's really high. <laughs> but yeah, just giving you an example. You can manipulate it. Yeah. And then I don't usually Sorry guys, I just can't hear myself when I put this these headphones on. <laughs> they really soundproof a lot the sound. But yeah, you can um see too much room mic in there, so I usually just leave it like around here. I do it by ear a lot, so I don't know what exact number, dB, negative, whatever. Uh, I just do it by ear. And then here, here's the mix. This is what my kick sounds like. And then 100%. Oh, wait. Let's wait for it to play again. That's my kick sound. And replaced. It's punchier. So then here I can I add compression. The uh, every software has their own compressions, EQ. I don't have any other company, third-party company. I have it. I use the compression and EQ straight from Logic Pro X. This is the compression I'm using for kick, rock kick. Look, when I turn it on, it does this. Sounds more full, more stronger. And yeah, rock kick. I don't do much. Here you could make it less intense or more uh, aggressive. But I leave it around here because you see the difference. Like, look. Yeah, it's just a big difference. So yeah, I, I just add a compression. I don't even add EQ, honestly. For, for this kick, I don't have to add EQ. So let's move into uh, the snare, our favorite one. <laughs> okay, this is the snare. I'm using uh, perks.live. I'm using ish signature dry. Yeah, I just love it. His snare drum sounds amazing. And uh, let's just hear it alone. Yeah, press space bar. Oh, I pressed the play button, but uh, yeah, so that's, I have it at four, but you can like mess with it. You can make it even deeper and even deeper. Ah, that's too deep, <laughs> but you can mess around with it. I leave it at four here. I add in the room mic a little bit low. And I mix this with the bottom snare. I leave the bottom snare just a little bit lower than the main snare track. Yeah, I leave it a little bit lower than the main snare mic. Because if you do look, you'll see why. If I make it loud. It will mess with, you know, the, the main snare sound. So I leave it around here. Just gives it that little touch that those little differences make, you know, those little changes make a difference. You know, just having that little extra sound of bottom snare mixed with the main snare mic, with the main snare, it just makes a, a huge difference. So... You know, it, it is worth having a bottom snare mic. Before I thought, no, nah, you don't need the bottom snare mic, but I noticed that you do need it. It makes a difference. So for snare, I I'm not using trigger. I'm using my actual snare sound. Sounds like this. I just add like maybe compression. I'm using uh, the rock snare bottom. And I just, I don't really do much with it, with EQ. I think I just, like, take out some of the mids. I leave it, I leave it in, in, the, in the user default, and I just lower this. I just lower all of this. This is what I do. Let me, let me recall default. I just lower this here yeah 
that's good for me. And I mix it with the snare. And it sounds great. So let's move on to toms. Toms, uh, I use triggers sometimes, and I use sometimes just my uh, my actual tom sound. For now, I'm I'm messing around with their sound from the Perks dot Live uh, website. I'm using a 13 inch for the tom one. I'm using a Pearl 13 inch. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I wanted to test out their sound, so I, I like I like the way it sounded. And uh, yeah, this is what I'm using. For toms, I also use compression. I'm using Rock Kick for all of them. And then I just mess with the makeup here. It's called makeup, not actual makeup. But uh, makeup here, you know. I just... Leave it around here as well. Same thing with uh, Tom 2. All right, so yeah, I just use, I'm using the Rock Kick compression and no EQ because I'm using Trigger 2. In this case, I'm using Trigger 2 for the toms, but I like to use my tom sound as well for some projects. And this is what my tom sound like with the EQ and compression, no trigger. Oh, sorry, I didn't turn on the, so I'm gonna turn it on now. And, um, I have a, a drum verb, which is like a reverb, a space designer. That's what it's called here in Logic Pro X. I always pan the snare drum there. I go here um, and I pan to the reverb here, drum verb. Let's go here. That's what it sounds like with the drum verb, let me see here. I usually leave it there. For snare drum, I add a little bit of, uh, from the drum verb as well. Here it is, this is what it sounds like. So I don't add too much because then it will sound weird, sound like too much reverb, but that's just add a little bit on it, onto it in, on buzz one, go to buzz one, and then here it is, drum verb, I call it drum verb, and then I have the space designer, and I have it 100% uh, wet, dry, no dryness, and the size 68%, Length 758 ms, pre delay 8, 8 ms, and this, this, I don't really touch this part, just these three things and the wet part here. And I have one channel for that only, and then I buzz whatever I want to that channel, like the snare drum or, or the toms or whatever I want to play around with. I don't want to. I don't like to buzz the kick or I think, yeah, just to, just the kick. I don't like to buzz the kick. I buzz a little bit of the overheads here. So let's move to overheads. This is the overheads right here. I don't have them too loud because then it will, it will take away the effect of the punchy snare drum. See, like. So 
yeah, you see, like it just sounds like too roomy. I don't want that. I want it more closed. So I leave it around here, around 12.2. More or less, yeah, 12.2. So for overheads, I don't really, I don't really do much. Honestly, I just buzz it to the reverb channel and that's pretty much it. Yeah. I, I don't do much with it. I don't make it too loud either in the mix. It's, it's all about mixing it right. So this is what I'm doing. I'm not putting it too loud. Uh, toms, they don't go louder than the snare, but, uh, you know, it's more or less around there. The kick and snare are, like there at 0 0.1 0 at 0 db snare bottom is lower than than the main snare tom one i have it at negative 4.0 db and tom two i have it at negative 2.7 db a little bit louder than the tom one and for tom two i don't pan it all the way to the right i pan it almost 47 percent 47. So that's pretty much it guys what I'm doing. I'm using trigger 2 and I'm using, you know, perks.live uh, samples from Ish Melton and Sebastian Suarez. You need this program here in order to get those sounds. Trigger 2 comes with sounds already that are amazing, but you can also get from perks.live. I really recommend it because they aim more towards that worship drummer sound. This program program alone Trigger 2 by Steven Slay cost about, I think, $200, but they have some specials, I think, sometimes. I don't know when. I, I paid the regular price. It, yeah, it was a lot of money, but it was worth it. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below, or you can email me at worshipdrummersergio at gmail.com. Have a blessed day, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.